Oh boy. If you had told me, like if you had told young Ryan, who was playing this game on PlayStation 2, that I would be playing it again, or multiple times, but I would be playing it on PlayStation 5 in 2021, I'd be like, what? PlayStation 5. I'm still playing Jack. The same Jack. So, uh, keen observers may have noticed that when I finished that 30 Platinums Part 2 video, I ended off at exactly 199 Platinum Trophies, which was not intentional. It really wasn't. I was trying to do uh, 34, 35 Platinums. That was kind of my internal target, which didn't work out. I hit 31 right near the end. Uh, but actually, that's cool because it is 199, so we can make 200 Special just like I made 100 Special. That's where I did uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on PS4. And uh, that was the Beat the Cock Marathon trophy, which I thought was really funny. Would have been cool to actually do the new one, the remaster or the definitive edition, but that game's kind of in rough shape. So actually what I decided on was, uh, well, recently it was the 20th anniversary of Jack and Daxter, and I've platinumed nearly every single Jack and Daxter game across PS3, 4, and Vita, except Jack X and Jack Three. So let's do Jack 3, um, and I'm not opening this by the way, I have a uh, digital copy ready to go, so we'll start that and stick to the end because I have a special unboxing that coincides with Jack 3, so uh, let's start one of my you know favorite franchises of all time and um, earn our 200th Platinum Trophy. Hmm, what a great way to spend a Saturday night. I'm so excited to play this game again. Jack 3! Let's get it! It's been a while since I played the game natively on a PS2. Maybe I should do that soon to see what it looks like, because obviously the emulation's a little dodgy here and there. But I'd like a good reference point to see what it was like on native hardware. At least with a guns, Jack 3 had a pretty deep variety of, like, modifications to the existing guns that were in Jack 2, which I really liked. You know, I, th I feel like Jack 3 is always missing in the conversation of the Jack games. It's always one or two. But, like, the guns were really fun in Jack 3. I'll, I'll never... I'll never not think that that's awesome. I will never not love Dark Jack. It's just... It's so sick. Hey, first bronze. You may carry the color of our creator's animal, but we have plans to save ourselves. Stay out of our business. You and Orange Lightning are not welcome here. <laughs> you and Orange Lightning are not welcome. And you'll notice too, like if, if you're listening or paying attention there, um, they admit like right away, like you may bear the same color of our creators, which if you've finished the game, you, you know where that's going. One of my favorite little things, the, the fruit physics. <laughs> I always thought that was so cool. Every time I walk past these, I just got to do it. At least one or two times. It's like purposely stepping on a very crunchy looking leaf. Ah, Eat it! Art or facts? I'm already getting hit in the feels for some of these like story beats that I know are coming later on. Oh, I love this mission. It's so dope. When these metal heads hit you, like, you just fly across the screen like you're nothing. I thought it was so cool at the time. That's so cool. Now I gotta kill it though. Uh oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, that does it doesn't get old. Finland Commander, report. What's happening? If you lost that cargo and you're still alive, I'll kill you myself. Me? Wait, not you. I don't like the sound of your voice. Ah! You sure kick sand in his face. Errol. That little snake. 
You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. My point is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Jack, I want you and Cleaver to go into the Perhaps this is why I, why I identify with Jack. I no, never knew my dad. I wasn't quite put into the same situation Jack has. Well, you know, you, you think about these things. Yeah, the rock hopper. Or the dune hopper, I should say. Just played Motor Storm, thinking of the uh, the track rock hopper. Is it hot in here? I'm just going to read the trophy description every time it comes up. Yeah, you can like stay right on the sides and those things don't even touch you. And this reminds me of... Uh, I gotta play Daxter again. That's a game in the Jack uh, franchise that I really have to play again. That was a really good game. Daxter. And I guess if I'm being honest, that would be my least played Jack game. But if we want to be technical, then Lost Frontier would be my least played, <laughs> least played Jack game. And that's how you cheese an encounter in Jack 3. The reflector, jump, spin shoot, takes them all out. Nice. And the trophy's hot, babe. I, I mean, I agree, she do be fire, but... <laughs> Arc wheel... Like, I'm, t I'm telling you, the, the Vulcan Fury is just the best. Because now I get to do this. There we go. I really didn't have to get that so soon, but like, they just keep coming. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little, little too much uh, mustard on that hot dog. Switcheroo. Don't fret. You won't live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all. Complete oblivion. So hard to choose. I won't let you do this. I'm superior now. <laughs>
Camels! Not bad driving, kid. It was a good fight. <coughs> and a good day to die. I'm very proud to have been by your side in the end. <coughs> this world is not yet out of heroes. We did well together. Don't move out. Please, promise me one thing. Promise me you'll find my son, Mar. You'll know him when you see this. He's wearing an amulet just like it. A symbol of our lineage with the great house of Mar. <coughs> Save the people, Jack. Yeah, the first time I saw that, like, my first playthrough, like, Mine was blown. I was like, no. Father. Yes. You were that child. I took you from Damus, <laughs> hoping to harness your eco powers for my experiments. Then I lost you to the underground. You seem upset. Did I tell you too late? You were the son of the great warrior Damus. Oh, and he never knew. How delightful. Thank you for opening the door to the precursors. Don't worry. I oh, gives you goosebumps. You out of your misery. When Jack gets fired up like that. Him, Jack. You're willing to go down there? Without a fuss this time. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. It's just that nobody hurts my best friend and lives to brag about it. Let's get him. Let's get him. Hmm. We needed a backup hero. We should have gone with plan B. Oh, hey, cut it out. We are unhappy with your performance. If you had been a true hero, you would have stopped Errol by now. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> oh my god. Even more angry, and uh, we order you to avert your eyes, or we will. <laughs> the camera. Burn. Oh, bother. That was also a pretty big moment for me. When that happened, I was just like, no way. No way! This guy just won't quit! It's headed for the city. We've got to defend it. Demos. The last charge of the Dark and Light Brigade. Let's do it, partner. To the end. I always thought this was a pretty inventive final boss. Because this whole area played such a big role in Jack 3. And, uh... I don't know. I, th I thought this was like... You know, some boss fights are kind of hit, hit or miss. I felt this was appropriate given the, uh this entire setting and what it meant for most of the game. Kind of gives you that larger-than-life feeling, too. So many cool action shots, and a lot of this went right into, like, Uncharted Drake's fortune. Like, you knew they always wanted to do things like this. Which they, you know, at the time, that was what they said on record. They felt like they graduated from Jack and wanted to do something more grounded. Which Uncharted, you know, very in-your-face, action-packed. Oh, yeah! I can really use a snazzy pair of pants, like yours! Those are sharp. I wish I had a pair just like that. Be careful what you wish for. Don't worry, honey. You get used to it. Oh, and you may want to shave some parts. Trust me on that. Hey! Thanks for everything. I couldn't leave you, Dax. With all our adventures ahead, you wouldn't last a second without me. 
Ah, what a team we are. Yeah, well, the next adventure, I call the shots. Put it in, partner. Ha! Psych! Oh, yeah. Life is good. Yay. Finish the story. And now we get one of my favorite credit sequences ever, which it plays this wonderful track. Uh, also, you got Andy Gavin, Jason Rubin, everybody that was responsible for this game. But the credits, um, I love how the character models are walking and this track plays and you can uh, pan them around. I don't know what it is. I love when games let you look at the character models or like a, some sort of dossier of like all the... Uh, enemies in the game, things like that, which Naughty Dog's done for a lot of their titles. I think most Uncharted's have them, and like even their most recent game, Last of Us Part Two, still has a character model viewer that you can mess with. I love that stuff. So I always love this credit sequence right here. Now we start the arduous task of uh, all the orbs. Which I don't mind doing again. I've done it like maybe two or three times. You can just use the orb, the orb glitch or the debug menu if you want. But I'll, I'll go through it again. That's the part of the game where it's like so fun to listen to like a podcast or something. Here we go. That's it. Platinum number 200. And I didn't actually read the description for this Platinum in particular ahead of time, but I guess it makes sense, right? For stamina and time on your hands and insati insatiable need for completion, which largely is what I've been doing for the longest time now. And actually, when I think about it, uh, for this like channel, right? Like I slowed down a lot with trophy hunting over the years, but... With the YouTube channel, I have now showcased 30, 60 Platinums on video, and then uh, this one, Cuphead, Returnal, Astro, I've done like 65-something Platinums just uh, you know for a YouTube video alone, but I was always going to play a lot of these games anyway. It's just, yeah, uh, I've been doing this for a long time. 200 it's not a lot to a lot of other hardcore trophy hunters that you know get upwards of three four five hundred but i'm proud of uh what i've done so far i guess uh, but now i have a very cool unboxing a statue that i've been wanting to open for the past two weeks now and the timing could not have been better here it is the jack three gaming heads uh statue which, if you've been here for a long time, you know that I have the Jack 1 and Jack 2 statue. These are uh, pretty, I mean, these are really premium statues that are like two, $300. They only make about 800 or so uh, per franchise and statue that they work with. So this one I ordered a long time ago. And the box is <laughs> massive, just like the other ones. Um, now I'll include some footage of the original unboxings. To show you what those statues look like. Sometimes I get questions about them. They used to be in the background of a lot of, of a, a lot of shots, but not so much anymore because they're packed away. This is Jack Three. Oh, Daddy, that's what we're looking for. Hmm. You can see even the styrofoam has jack on it. They also come with a little card of authenticity. So these statues, they usually piecemeal a lot of the limbs and stuff uh, separately and they just kind of uh, slide in. And, you know, it's, it's all fixed, right? You can't, they come with different heads, but I think that's pretty much it. Nothing's opposable or anything, obviously, which I do not like opposable statues or anything like that at all. I always like these really high-grade, 
really premium ones where they're just, their position is, they're stuck that way. I gotta be real careful with Jack's ears. The unfortunate thing is that I believe both my Jack 1 and 2 statue fell down by accident one time and they broke. Um, super glue fixed it, but I mean, if you look hard enough, you'll be able to find like the seams of like where his ear broke. But that's all right, because I was never planning on getting rid of them anyway. It doesn't bother me too much, especially because you can put these things back together if you find all the pieces. But because there are just certain parts of these things where they're just so fragile, with like Daxter, this is such a fine little piece right here. It could easily, easily crack. That's why the packaging is always so good with these. There's the bulk of his body. Standee and one little accessory right here. There we go. Let's set them up. Thank you so much for joining me in this 200th Platinum Trophy celebration, if you will. And if you have not yet, please subscribe for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter at MysticRyan. And that is it. I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.